I am definitely the worst YouTuber. I keep talking to you guys about doing new videos and I'm so excited for things and then I just don't do it. So we're here. We're doing it today. I'm so excited to be back on my channel. It is 2022 and so happy to be talking about concert photography again. So I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while and that's talking about photographers that I really look up to and if you don't follow them on social media, you should. I have such a long, long list of music photographers that I follow and love and support. I do have a podcast where I interviewed a lot of incredible music photographers, so please go check that out because all of them I adore. But today we're going to be talking about 10 music photographers and these are working photographers. So I want to be really clear. There's a lot of really amazing photographers out there. Some of them are not working in the industry anymore and some of them are. I want to talk about the people that are currently like on tour, like really going at it and making big strides in the music industry and people that I love seeing their work when they're posting new photos. I feel like I'm ranting, but we're just going to jump right into this because I have a lot to say about them and I want to share their stuff. Okay, so I got my phone here and we're just gonna dive into their Instagrams and show you guys what this looks like. None of these photographers are really in any sort of order. I'm gonna be hopping around on them, so please don't take this as like the only top 10 photographers that I look at. Like, don't take this as the best of the best ranked in order. This is just the photographers that I really love. There's so many. Guys, I got like a full list here, but. These are the people that we're gonna go through. I'm gonna start out with a bath. I have seen Beth's photography come up so many times on my Instagram and then I realized that it was all from one person. Just like incredible work. I love the use of fog. There's so much lighting that's just incredible backstage, side stage portraits just all of the tour stuff. I love the captures of her actually working. It's really nice to see working photographers out there and like what their actual looks like when they're, you know, out in the pit. Um, but just like really, really incredible work and like works with the craziest, best people in the industry. Like look at these shots of Billie Eilish. Just amazing. These images, Miley Cyrus, insane. Just insane. So really, really love and adore their work. So this is Beth. Next, we're going to hop over to someone that I personally know, photographer here in LA, and that is Jack Lou. He's pretty famous. He shot a lot of the like early stages Guns N' Roses stuff. Really, really crazy behind the scenes stuff of Guns N' Roses. I've seen his work come up so many times and like prints and highlighting like the early days of Guns N' Roses. Love that. He's always at rock shows so I see him often and he currently does a lot of work for Guitar Girl magazine so you see a lot of those photos here. Um, but his work with like local bands, up and coming bands, um, and big bands here in LA, it's just very clean. He is one of those people that like I look to, he's almost always technically correct, I think, that like his images are very sharp, like just good, clean photos. And like, I don't know, I just really like seeing his work. I like sharing the pit with him, so I wanted to put him on this list, but a lot of great work here. Okay, next we're talking about Tammy. I love Tammy. I got to meet her personally and she's just a sweetheart. Really, really enjoy her positivity in the music industry. I did get to record a podcast with her and it's really, really long. We go into so much detail about just random stuff. Um, but her work is really incredible. She posts a lot of Poison, uh, Kiss, and... Who else was she on tour with? She's done a lot of really great tour videos and recaps. I like following her um, to see her video work because her video work is just stunning. It's just really great recaps of showing the moment of what's happening on stage and the vibe of 
the whole show. So I really love seeing that. I'm trying to get into more video concert work, so seeing her work really inspires me to do more. She also does like wedding photography and corporate photography. She's been on the cruises before, so there's a lot of work in here that's really incredible. Um, and she's just a sweet person and also got a wicked sense of style, so love following her. Okay, next we have Matthias, who is a incredible music photographer, but you guys will probably know him. He has an incredible podcast. He interviewed so many great photographers out there, got a lot of information out of these interviews, and on top of that, he's just a crazy good photographer. Like, there's a lot of, like, really clean, crisp images here. I think that he tends to shoot wider, so he actually kind of like inspired me to get a wider lens and start shooting, shooting a lot wider than I was because I really like portraits. His like larger stage setups really inspired me to capture the whole scene instead of just the one artist, but he does have incredible portraits in here too, so love this. Really inspired by his work. His podcast's amazing, so go listen to him, but send him a follow on Instagram too. Okay, and next we have Alan. So Alan has a mix of animal photography and music photography on his Instagram, which I love as an animal lover. It's just amazing to see some of these portraits. Like this is so crazy. Um, but he's done a lot of stuff with Motley Crue and just like, incredible. Like again, capturing the moment really well, capturing the vibe, the feeling of the stage. Look at that cute little doggy. <laughs> but just great, great talent here. Really love his work. Vibrant colors, a lot of wide, you know, lenses again. Just really incredible. So love seeing his work pop up. Really inspiring to like, for me, to again hammer down that sharpness. I talk about sharpness a lot. I love seeing really crisp images, and I think that he nails it. He's also a Nikon shooter, if I remember correctly, so um, I love fellow Nikon shooters, but like, like, look at how crisp that is. Amazing. So love his work. Um, really excited to see more from him, but it definitely inspires me to get that crispness and really capture that moment, so love these. Next we're going to talk about Miranda. Love her work. I feel like Miranda sets the bar really high. There are so many incredible shots in her portfolio. Like, oh, what? <laughs> like, her portraits are amazing. Pictures of shows, behind the scenes, travel stuff. Just like really, really incredible work here. I think that she does a really good job of capturing the moment and the scene again and really trying new things. I believe that I've seen a lot of film stuff from her. So she does a lot of like behind the scenes and also these like portraits that I don't know. I feel like she's always like trying something new. Whenever I see her stuff come up on my feed, it's something like this, that it's just something that I haven't seen before. I feel like I'm not explaining this well, but really, really incredible, really inspiring for me to just like, I know that I'm missing these moments. So like next time I go to a concert, I need to capture stuff like this and I'd love it. Just ugh, incredible, crisp, beautiful, love all of the flares, just ugh, fantastic colors. I mean, really, really incredible work from Miranda. Okay, next we have Skylar. Skylar, I wanted to mention work is really, really inspiring to me because there's a lot of like graphic design in here as well. Like these overlays of just adding more to the picture instead of just what you're capturing at the concert. Like, obviously you have pictures of what's actually going on at the concert that's not really edited, but then they do these overlays that are just insane to me and so beautiful. So I'm always so impressed with these that I want to add them to my work. I also love the um, filter effect here of, I know that this is done with a prism. Very cool. Same here with having that filter to like do the stars just really, really incredible work that just adds an extra layer of like what you're seeing at the concert. Just beautiful. And also 
the colors the colors are insane here again with that prism beautiful beautiful but the color is just amazing i always love seeing skylar's work come up on my feed again so crisp but very very stunningly beautiful photos and i'm always inspired okay next we're going to talk about quinn i got to meet quinn for a very short amount of time at stagecoach i'll never forget this i was dying from allergies and he gave me an allergy pill <laughs> because I was literally dying. Very kind um, and ever since then have been following his work and just really beautiful at capturing the emotion that's going on on stage and these kind of like quiet moments, I like to call them, those like kind of like in-between moments. And again, some like great work with portraits. Just really love the uniqueness and like also the vibe of a lot of these photos. I know that he's often at Coachella and just like showcasing what it feels like to be at some of these festivals. I just feel like I'm there when I'm looking at Quinn's photos. I'm like, this is amazing. Just like the, the eye that Quinn has is incredible. Just every single shot, I'm like, this is framed so beautifully. So love looking at Quinn's photos to be like, yes, I need to learn how to capture things in this like range, this eye, this look, this feel. Um, love the double exposure there. This one, insane, insane. Love that flare. So just really, really great work love seeing Quinn pop up on my feed. Then we're going to talk about Jen. Jen I did an interview with as well for my podcast and she was just so sweet and one of the things I talked about a lot was again the sharpness of her photos. I mean just like really nailing it on the head in each one of these photos. They are so beautiful, so crisp. I love the detail and the smoke. Like she always does such a great job with all of the hard lighting. There are so many concerts that have like the most difficult lighting and every time it seems like she's just nailing it. Like I know that Rob Zombie has some crazy lighting and this photo is so sharp and so beautiful and just love it. And Again, she's a fellow Nikon shooter, so love that. But she took this one photo of Miley Cyrus. I just like cannot get over her awareness of being in the right place at the right time to capture the right moments and like really being aware of your surroundings is a huge part of being a music photographer. And I feel like she really nails it at being aware of what's going on and being able to capture some of these like crazy beautiful moments of just like leaning in and great faces and all of that so I just I just love 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 her work last but not least we're gonna talk about Todd I feel like Todd is one of those people in the industry that I think everyone knows him he is a Nikon ambassador um he has his own website that's about teaching photography. He does a lot of really incredible blogs. So if you're getting into music photography and you want to hear more, read more about it, highly recommend his blog. Um, and just again, crazy talented at capturing the right moments and being really like intentional, I guess, with what he's shooting. Like everything is very well framed very beautiful moments um and i love seeing his work pop up on my feed just a lot of really good clean beautiful shots like i feel like everyone that i've mentioned has photographed miley cyrus and these images of her are beautiful and i've just i guess she's on my bucket list but ah, just amazing amazing love it love it and that's it guys. I feel like this was a long video of just me talking about some of my favorite photographers, but seriously, I have a long list of other photographers that you should definitely follow on social media. These are just 10 of them. I might do another video like this because I want to showcase and highlight some of their photos because it's just like insane work. And a lot of these people are just incredible human beings I've had the honor of meeting so and some of them I haven't met yet but I just I want to be a positive person in this industry and highlight some 
amazing talent. So please go check them out. They are incredible. And that is it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching along. I will try to put out new music videos. Um, you'll see me a lot more on this channel, hopefully. And let me know in the comments if there are other music photographers that you want me to check into because I always love looking into new music photographers or maybe you volunteer yourself. I'd love to check out your work as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.